In this video, we are talking about RP3. So we've talked about RP3 before when we were converting with N measurements. In this recording, we're going to talk about converting between the English measurements and the metric measurements. So here we have 7 inches, which is our English measurement, and we have centimeters, which is our metric. And I want to figure out about how many centimeters is going to equal our 7 inches. So we're going to go to our reference sheet, and we're going to figure out what we know about inches and centimeters. Now, we know that 1 inch is about 2.54 centimeters, or 2 and 54 hundreds centimeters. So then we want to know about 7 inches. So we're going to put 7 inches on top because that's where our inches is located on the left side of our equal sign. And then we're going to put an X down here for our centimeters because we don't know what that is. And we put a variable in the place of something we do not know. So then we can crisscross multiply here if you would like. But on this one it would be very simple for us just to say 1 times 7 is 7, so 2.54 times 7. So that would be our easiest way. Not our only way, but our easiest in this one. So when you say 2.54 times 7, we get 17.78 or 17 and 78 hundredths. Next problem is 2 pounds to kilograms. Pounds is our English measurement, and then kilograms is our metric measurement. So we're going to start with what we know. Go to your reference sheet and figure out what do you know about pounds and kilograms. We know that one pound is about 0 0.454 kilograms. And I want to know about two pounds. So I'm going to put an X here because we do not know what that variable is. And we know what the variable is. We do not know what it represents yet. So we could crisscross multiply to figure this out or we could say one times two which in this case would be the easiest way to go, and then do 0.454 times 2, and that's going to give us about 0 0.908 kilograms. So almost a whole kilogram, but not yet. Last one we have is the fluid ounces, 6 fluid ounces, which is our English measurement, and then we have our milliliters, which is our metric measurement. So we're going to start with what we know, and we're going to find what we know from our reference sheet. We know that one fluid ounce is about 29.6 milliliters. Okay, so then we're going to take our six fluid ounces and we're going to put it on top because that's where fluid ounces is located. And then we're going to put an X on bottom because again, that's a variable. We do not know what it is. So you could crisscross multiply, but again on this one, it would be so much easier just to say one times six is six and then 29.6 times 6, that's going to give us 177.6 milliliters. So remember, if you're going from English to metric or metric to English, use your reference sheet, and that's where you're going to find the what I know.